Hey Sasquad, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be playing in the Open Ultra League. I'm going to be putting my Hundo Best Buddy Pidgeot to use. This was a lot of fun experimenting with this line, and we actually did pretty well. So we have two sets in today's video, so let's just jump into the battles. Alright, so in this very first battle, we actually get a great lead in the form of Shadow Machamp. But we're not really afraid of Machamp with this line. So they end up bringing Giratina, and this is actually our best way to deal with Giratina. So I'm just going to stay in. And for this first move, I thought they would suspect I would try to Brave Bird and switch out, but they just don't shield at all. And they do just take the Feather Dance. So they didn't fall for my bait at all, but this will be okay because this is a Shadow Claw Giratina, which because of our normal typing, we will be able to resist the fast attacks relatively nice. And we are getting defense, uh, or we are getting attack drops off on this Giratina with our Feather Dance. So even the Dragon Claws, as you'll see here, start to uh, become weaker to the point where this Giratina will actually just get farmed down and I won't have to commit a shield at all. And it's pretty insane just barely living this Dragon Claw. And this way I can have a move for whatever comes in. So we're just going to throw our Brave Bird here on the Shadow Scissor. I guess I could have baited at that point. but. There's really no point, I guess, if I was getting a shield regardless. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter. I wasn't too afraid of the scissor, I guess is what I'm saying, because we had Heracross. But yeah, lining up the Mewtwo with Machamp, that was just game the top left. Our next battle, we get a really great lead again. We get a fighter in the form of Scrafty. And I actually make a switch to my Mewtwo, my armored Mewtwo here on their Gengar, mainly because it is a poison typing, and we can kind of just confusion the Gengar down and have dynamic punch is ready for when Scrafty comes back in and yeah we're not really afraid of the fighters like Scrafty can be a little tricky depending on how we play it out I guess but um we have Heracross and Pidgeot so we're not necessarily afraid of Scrafty so we're just gonna let this go through um unfortunately I, I power up to the dynamic punch but I got a little nervous and I did throw side strike there but it doesn't really matter because they end up having a Crobat here in the back line and Pidgeot is a great matchup for Crobat because all Crobat can really do here is throw Poison Fangs and farm down with Air Slash and me using Feather Dance is essentially negating the Poison Fang so yeah this is a really interesting battle it could have gone really bad if we had the line Heracross up with our Crobat here from our enemy but yeah Fortunately for us, our opponent is just going to top left here and we're going to win that battle as well. Two great leads to start this set, but this one is actually a really bad lead for us. So it's an aggro on lead and I'm going to actually safe swap here to my Mewtwo. And the thing is, if this was a charm Grand Bowl, this could have been a little bit better for us. But this is in fact a Snarl. So they will be able to get to their crunch relatively fast, which is a little bit scary for us, but we kind of just have to play it out. I know you can take at least one crunch, so I'm going to let one of them slip on through. We're going to try to like get shields here at least. And okay, we get the shields. So now that we kind of know this is a Snarl variant, we could actually bring in our Heracross in on the Grand Bowl. So that's pretty much what we're going to do here. But this is a little bad because we don't really know what they have in the back line, and we kind of need Heracross to deal with Aggron. I know we can take a close combat, so I just let it go through, and they end up having Togekiss. And this is kind of bad, because even though I can get these Rock Blast off, we aren't going to be... It's just not great for us, because we were going to either get farmed down there, and Pidgeot can't really do anything to Aggron, so I'm just going to try to weaken Aggron's attack so I don't want to get just completely smacked down with my hair cross and I'm gonna shield but the thing is the aggron has so much energy just from farming down on Pidgeot and yeah I pretty much I don't even think a rock blast would have been able to knock out aggron there I try to farm down and maybe I don't even know if one more rock blast would have knocked out Tokus I think it would have needed a little bit of farm down also so GG there um in our next battle we get a Greedent lead, and I will stay in for a little bit to see. I know I can tank a Body Slam, 
but this will rack up really fast because Greedit is a very much a spammy Pokemon with Bullet Seed and Body Slam in its arsenal. So I decided to just go for straight Brave Bird here, maybe thinking maybe they won't shield. And that's pretty much what happens. So I'm going to try to bring in Heracross for the farm down. And we were able to actually farm it down before they can switch out, it seemed. But now we're getting trapped by a Charmer, which isn't really that great for us around and, and we are going to throw a mega horn on the aromatis here and then we get farmed down so i think what i end up doing is bring in mewtwo here on the aromatis and we're going to get some energy off i will commit a shield because i feel we're going to need as much hp to kind of deal with this we don't really know what the rest of their team is so we are going to throw a side strike and see if we get a shield or not they don't shield, and I think at this point we can just farm the Romatisse, have a little bit of energy stored, and they do end up having Wellrun here in the back line. So I will throw a Dynamic Punch, because that is our strongest move. I guess it could have baited, but what I want to do is try to catch an Icicle Sphere here with my Pidgeot, and I make an amazing catch. And we come back in, we're going to be able to shield one of these Icicle Spheres, and... I'll be able to get to the dynamic punch and it's uh, the thing is dynamic punch what well we're in even the shadow variant is still very bulky will this knock out it barely lives and fortunately i can confusion down and just barely win that battle gg all right so in this next one we get a well lead and usually i'll try to bring in mewtwo as my safe swap against well because I want to keep, I want to line up my hair cross with the Bowen at some point in the battle. So they're going to bring in Scrafty, which is a pretty good call on their end. And I will throw a dynamic punch here and see if we get a shield or not. We do get one shield. I think I just decide to let my Mewtwo go to the second foul play. And if they baited, then I would get to the dynamic punch. So now we're going to make... Usually this is kind of like a tough decision. I'm like, what do you do? I could have potentially brought in Aircross here and got a lot of energy. Um, but, you know, it's sometimes hard to like play that way. I feel like maybe it's not the best to try to reveal that. But my, our opponent actually switches out into Welrin. And that allows us to get a Brave Bird off and switch to Heracross. Which, depending on what they have in the back line, Heracross may in fact be able to just sweep the, the rest of the team. So we know that we can farm down the Scrafty. The fact that they're bringing Scrafty in here is a really good sign. So we completely farm it, and then they do end up having a Mel Metal here. So we will throw the Mega Horn, and they will shield. And I, I mean, Mega Horn and Rock Blast are both resisted by the Steel types, but obviously Mega Horn will do more damage because it is a stronger attack and it is stab for Heracross. But yeah, we are able to do this, and that will be. We can farm down from that in GG. So that was our very first set. We went 4-1 with that. That was actually the very first battle of my stream yesterday. And yeah, we had a lot of great battles, but I just want to make this a shorter video. So in this next set, we actually get a Giratina lead, which is one of the reasons why Pidgeot is so good in this format is it can deal with these ghost types and the fighters relatively good. Um, yeah, they're going to throw the move. I think this is Dragon Breath, though. I'm going to throw Brave Bird. Yeah, this one is Dragon Breath. So I will throw the move, and I'm actually going to try to keep Pidgeot, as it looks like, as like a Sack Swap. And we switch in our Mewtwo to try to farm down a Giratina. We take a Shadow Sneak. In comes the Reggie. We're just going to let the move go on through, and it is a Flash Cannon. We're gonna try to throw Dynamic Punch. I don't think they will shield if I remember correctly. Yeah, they just let the Dynamic Punch go through. So there's gonna be a lot of reliance on this battle on our hair cross. Like we are kind of risking that they uh, There are a lot of charmers in this format, but yeah, we're just gonna pretty much bring in hair cross and farm down. Cause we know Giratina is so low that we could actually just farm the Giratina as well. And they end up having a Swampert, which is a really good matchup for Heracross. We are going to throw the Mega Horn. I mean, I guess we could have baited, but I didn't think it was really worth risking. And crazy enough here, we switch in our Pidgeot, and we're so low health. And we're, we they want to farm us instead of throwing a Hydro Cannon. And we end up getting a 
feather dance off on this swamper, which I just think is crazy that we were able to pull that off. That was so risky. But yeah, that's gonna be game because at this point we just farmed down the Giratina after Mega Horning that Swamper, so GG trainer. Alright, in this next battle, we end up getting a Swampert lead, which is I think a pretty good lead also for Pidgeot. We're just gonna stay in. We can I guess it, it's probably more smart to shield the first one and then maybe bait. But yeah, if I was gonna go for Feather Dance, maybe I should have shielded the first Hydro. Because we would have had a more interesting like matchup here, I suppose. Like I would have had more HP. But we're gonna not shield. And yeah, we're just kinda like. Oh, I see what I did here. I farm a little energy and I'm gonna catch the move on Mewtwo and hope that this doesn't bite me in the butt. So this is kind of a tough call because we're we get the Giratina, but we really don't have a great way to deal with Giratina anyways. So maybe this is better that we like switched out and preserved our Pidgeot. So we're not going to shield it all on the Giratina. I think I decide to just let it go through. Yeah, we let it go through and Giratina gets chunked down a bit from confusion, but this is a scary situation for us. And we are able to get off our Feather Dance with Pidgeot. So maybe it was a good idea to do what we did. They're not going to shield. And I think we just don't shield as well here. And it's crazy because I live and we're able to take down the Giratina. So this is kind of a scary situation. Again, a lot of reliance here on the Heracross. But when I saw them bring in the Swampert, I was like, damn, we probably just win because they have to have like a Steel type in the back. And getting that little bit of energy as well is huge. So at this point, I think we're going to just pretty much be able to win the match because we can actually take one of those moves. The fact that they're going for Focus Blast, we can take one with Heracross and they can't farm down with Lock On. So yeah, it's pretty much game. I think I even let this one go through just to like show my opponent they pretty much have no way to win. Because, you know, like, I don't think the Swampert had energy, but it's better to save that shield, I guess, if I know I can take a move. But yeah, GG, great game. So in this next battle, we get the XL Deoxys defense here. And pretty tough matchup for us, but if it's Rock Slide, a little bit better. So I decided not to shield the first move, and it is a Rock Slide. I decided I'm going to just throw Brave Bird. They don't shield as well. I'm going to try to catch a move on my Mewtwo. They are going to be forced to switch out. I think that's okay. Because this is the Shadow of Snorlax, I think I could get away going for Psy Strikes instead of like dy uh, Dynamic Punch because they're probably going to want to shield. So I'm going to just throw a Psy Strike as bait and they do shield that. And I think I go for a Dynamic Punch here. I think I... Um, no, I, yeah, I do shield, and I think I do go for the dynamic punch, and they will also commit a shield, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Great call on their end, because they can kind of farm down, but now we're going to just bring in Pidgeot to kind of be like a sack swap. And again, we're like kind of like setting up a scenario where we're thinking, maybe if we have Heracross with energy, we can win the battle. So will that pay off in this battle? We'll find out. I get that farm down on their Shadow Snorlax. They bring in the De Deoxys Defense, and I don't really want to waste my shield on a Psycho Boost. So I just throw the Rock Blast, and they end up having Scrafty, so that's going to be game. Crazy battles, yeah. Alright, this is going to be a tough one. Shadow, Wellrun lead. Um, we're going to bring in our Mewtwo. That's what we were saying before with Wellrun leads. But they end up having a Trevenant, and they kind of just, like, trap us, which this is not really that great for us. Like, this is kind of, like... Tough cookie, so we're just going to try to go off with much damage. I guess we could have tried the shield here. Maybe predicting the Shadow Ball here would have been huge, because probably if we just committed two shields at that point, or predicted the Shadow Balls, we could have farmed down Trevenant and had energy. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do in this battle, actually. I think taking that Shadow Ball completely threw my, any chance of me being able to kind of win the battle. Because here we have to pretty much... In this type of match, when we lose a lead like this and we get like hard countered on the switch, we have to disrupt the switch timers as best as we can. But yeah, it's pretty insane how close this still is because even though this is a Talonflame against a Heracross, our rock moves are going to hit 
pretty hard and it's insane like how close this comes so yeah it's it was so close still but yeah we're not gonna be able to pull off this win they get off the icicle sphere if i could have somehow like switched out and sacked the pidgeot and the time the switch timer wasn't in my favor there and they came back and just got to the rock blast barely that would have been sick but yeah and whenever i took that shadow ball that was huge oh by the way real quick before we get into this battle i just wanted to find out this I noticed this was finding these battles, like this trainer's name. Well, it's like hilarious what his name is. I'll just take a moment to appreciate the creativity. Nuck Biantic. <laughs> oh, that was great. All right, so we get ourselves a Snorlax lead. I think it's a pretty decent lead for Pidgeot as well, because we can resist the fast attacks. They're going to bring in a lone muck. And I think I try to get off. I, I think I might just throw Brave Bird here and switch to Heracross. Because I think if they don't shield, that's a great situation. Oh no, I just decided to stay in because they don't shield at all. So I actually, that's pretty good. I think this is a good situation for us. I mean, they're going to bring back in the Snorlax and honestly, I think I just let my... Okay, I am going to shield. I mean, I do have that switch timer technically. And I'm resisting the fast attacks, like I said a little bit earlier. So I guess I just try to bait. Great call for them not the shield, but now I'm going to bring in Heracross, and it ends up being a Drapion here. So this ends up being a pretty absurd battle. So we throw the Rock Blast. We do uh, get a shield from Drapion, and we are going to shield as well to hopefully get a shield against the Sludge Bomb, which we do. We throw another Rock Blast here. We get another shield. The thing is, this is a scary matchup for our Mewtwo in the back line. So we're gonna take, we get hit by another Sludge Bomb. I want to try to knock out this Drapion. And we get the Rock Blast off. Really great. Now we can kind of just like, we're in a really safe position, honestly, at this point. Because we can just bring in our Pidgeot that pretty much wastes Snorlax's energy. Farm it down with Confusion on Mewtwo and they will top left because they can't get the two crunches if they had it before I got to a move to knock them out. So another 4-1 set here with our Hundo Best Buddy Pidgeot, Heracross, and Armor Mewtwo. Yeah, so thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the Sound Squad's getting stronger each and every day. You have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.